I could wad this up into a ball like this for days and days and days and it won't wrinkle. It's only about as big as the palm of my hand. Sometimes you just need something that is going to take you to a formal function and a dress like this is one of those things. And today I'm going to show you how you can pack things like formal wear, keep them from getting wrinkled or how to get some of those wrinkles out of them if you happen to get them, so stay tuned. The number one thing for me is when I'm looking for clothing to take on my trip, whether it's formal like this or even a little less, less formal, a little more casual, is the type of material that it's made out of. This is completely synthetic. And what I love about it is it is nice and stretchy. I can move in this and that's going to allow it to have less wrinkles or become less wrinkly while I'm you know, packing and traveling. It also is a little more fitted, and even though it's fitted, it has that stretch. And it also has this overlay that's kind of sheer, so if there's a little bit of wrinkling underneath, you're not really gonna notice it. So fabric is very important in your choice before you actually pack. Another great piece is something like this dress here. And what I love about it is you can wad this up into a ball like this for days and days and days, and it won't wrinkle. I love that about this dress because I can put this in a personal carry-on. I can even put it in that little neck thing that I wear on the plane to get an extra outfit. And this absolutely will not wrinkle and look just as good as when I took it out of the closet. So material is really important when choosing things that you wanna take on your trips that don't wrinkle. And of course, you can never go wrong with a slip dress like this. Very versatile. You can wear it sleeveless. You can put a jacket over it, a sweater over it, a shirt over it. But what I like best about this dress is I can fold it into this little format, which makes it really easy to put even in your personal carry-on. And that way it'll come out unwrinkled. I went to Vegas with this, folded up exactly like this, and there were no wrinkles in it. And if I had a little wrinkle in it, all I had to do was to spray it down with a little water. It dried really quickly and I was good to go. Of course, things like color make a difference in showing wrinkles. As you can see here, this has quite a bit of wrinkles. It's also 100% cotton. And this is dark and you can see here, you don't see as many wrinkles in it. However, it is shiny. Shiny will show more wrinkles than something matte. So choose things maybe that are dark and not shiny or light in some fabric that's not 100% cotton, like this shirt right here, which just came out of the dryer. I put it on just like this, and it is about 50% cotton, and the rest is some sort of polyester and spandex, so that allowed this shirt to come out a lot less wrinkled, and that way I have a lot less to worry about with ironing when I wear something like this. Of course, sometimes we wanna wear things like a blazer, and of course, wool always works out really well. But if you can't get wool or you don't like wool, something like this is great. It's stretchy, as you can see here. It allows me to be comfortable, even if I wear it on the plane, but it's also going to not wrinkle as easily, whether I wear it on the plane or I pack it in my suitcase. So again, fabric choice matters. Things that are stretchy tend to allow you to allow that wrinkling to come out easier. And because they're stretchy, when you put it on, it's going to kind of stretch out those wrinkles a little bit too. All right, now we have found that materials are important and we've picked those out. Now when we pack, it's a little less stressful because we're gonna have materials that don't wrinkle as easily. So let's get showing you what I use to pack when I wanna make sure that I have formal wear or work wear that doesn't get wrinkled. As you can see here, I have two different systems you can use. If you're just someone who likes to pack your formal wear or wear that needs to be taken care of a little bit more in one of these that just folds up. These fit nicely in the overhead compartment, so this is a great thing to bring. Let me show you how that works. Now, this is a pretty basic system for a garment carrier here. It just unzips. Now, what I don't like about this system is everything's kind of got to, if it's a longer dress, it's got to kind of sit here at the bottom in here and be folded up. So um, you've just got to figure out a way to do that. What I like about this system is it's you know pretty compact. It has a couple of nice deep pockets in here. If you wanna put things like shoes or other 
pieces of clothing, a couple of other pockets up in here to hold some things. So, you know, that way you have the ability to keep some things with you. And these also zip so that they stay um, nice and secure. And then of course, a few straps in here for you to be able to put some things in here. So it's a pretty basic garment bag with a couple little loops up here to put in your hangers. If I wanted to lay in this, you just put this through here and get your garment nicely settled in. And then you can also strap it down. Like I said, I'm not going to go through that now, but it's a pretty basic garment system. Once you have it all zipped up, you just basically fold it up and then zip it all the way around. Get your little hook back in there. And that way this becomes something you can carry just like this onto the plane. And then when you want to put it in the overhead luggage, you're going to fold it one more time, just like this. And this way it'll fit into the overhead bin nicely, but it does give you a little extra fold in here while you're flying. All right, this next system is a actual piece of carry on luggage. It has a trolley handle and wheels. Looks like a standard piece of luggage with all the pockets here. But when I open it, as you can see, it looks different and it starts to turn into a garment carrier here. So I like this. It also has these pockets that are removable, but as you can see, if you want to put something in like your iron or your little laundry room in a bag, that works great. And it has a system here that allows you to hook in all of your stuff and set it down in here. As you can see, this acts as a standard garment bag here and allowing me to put things in nicely here and then get things set up and fold them over. And once I have everything in that I need, it has this liner that folds over right like this and zips up. And this zips up to keep everything nice and protected. Now, as I lift this, the extra garments that are here kind of lay like this. And this gives me a strap then to just keep everything in place. And then I can fold this up right into this here. And I'll just fold that over and put that in and that's ready to go. Once you flip your, close your garment bag, there's a whole nother set of storage compartments here. A small compartment here and then a larger compartment here that is going to allow you to put in some um, packing cubes and then a whole nother compartment here. It has a waterproof pocket here and then mesh here and a whole set area here to put in more packing cubes or curling irons, anything else that you want to have or more clothing. So this is actually a really great system. If you're someone who travels for work a lot, this is a great system. There's even a tiny little zipper pouch here to put some little things. And I keep my little air tag in there just so I know where everything is all in this little suitcase. So you've chosen your materials wisely, you've chosen your luggage wisely, and you've packed well, but you still have some wrinkles and you need to get them out. What do you do? Well, I have a few options, so let's go through those. My first option is this, which is my kind of laundry room in a bag that I take on almost all of my trips because it has things like hangers and stain remover and things like that. But one of the most important things that I keep in here is a teeny tiny little spray bottle like this because I can put some water in it and spritz things down with a little water. And generally with the, a lot of those fabrics I showed you, as long as you spritz them with a little water, let them hang for a little bit, they dry quickly and they'll have a lot less wrinkles. And that way I have a way to get wrinkles out of almost everything that I bring along with me. Now I always bring a little you know, folding hanger with me, but sometimes I bring a hanger like this which is a blow up hanger. So this hanger blows up. So you have some nice rounded edges rather than pokey edges on some of your delicates. You know, you may not want those pokey edges. This works out great. And as you can see that folded up really flat, just make sure you wipe the lipstick off of where you blew it up. So it doesn't get on your clothing. I don't generally travel with an iron because I, I don't have things that get that wrinkled, but if I do something, a shirt that I want for work or David's coming with me and I need to iron his shirt or he needs to iron his shirt, I do bring something like this, this little tiny iron right here. As you can see, it's only about as big as the palm of my hand. Um, it has little handles here so that I can iron a little point to get up into collars and things like that. It's dual voltage, so I'll be able to use it in the U.S. and in Europe. What it doesn't have are two things. It does not have a temperature control and it does not have any sort of steam option. So 
it's just something, like I said, just to get wrinkles out, you'd have to be careful about how you use it on certain materials, but on things that are cotton or wool, these will probably work really well. And if you want to go ahead and steam spray something, just take that little spritzer bottle that's in your little laundry kit in a bag, spray down your um, material, and then just go ahead and iron. And I just love the small footprint of this. So this is a great thing to have. Again, if you are going on a cruise, this is something that you don't want to bring. They're not going to allow you to bring this on a cruise. They don't allow any sort of um, steamer or heaters or anything like that or irons to be on the cruise because of fire danger. So just check with your cruise line. Most do not allow this. But if you're not cruising, this is a great thing to have. Another great thing I bring is a steamer because I don't generally iron but sometimes I wanna steam some things out and this works great. Uh, it's one of those things that's really easy to use. You just fill it up, you turn it on, and in about one minute or less, it's ready to go and steaming. So I love this. It's not any bigger, as you can see here, than maybe a curling iron or a flat iron. A great thing to have if you have a lot of articles of clothing that you think might get wrinkled on your trip, this is one of those things to take with you. Just remember, if you are doing carry-on only, to empty out all that water from your steamer before you fly. And another option is a flat iron. And I have occasionally used this on my clothing to actually get, you know, like a wrinkle out of something. If you just kind of put the fabric between it and, and kind of go through it, it'll help, you know, get some wrinkles out. You, mostly things like uh, t-shirts or, you know, shirts like this, I can even take this and put it if I needed to on a collar and, and get it to, you know, get some of the wrinkles out of it. So worst case scenario, they will allow you to bring this onto a cruise ship. All right, what did I miss? I know there are experienced travelers out there who can tell me these are our favorite ways of either not wrinkling, de-wrinkling our clothing. Put those in the comments. I'd like to know what are your favorite ways to make sure you look nice and crisp on your travel adventures. Well, I've got to continue packing. So in the meantime, remember to juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple. Don't get your life all wrinkled up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> I think this has a leak. Oh, it's not closed. It's my fault. This is my most expensive piece of jewelry. Lovely. Here that if you want to stick maybe it, what's in here? Oh, so now that it's closed, I have a pocket here. Oh, those are David's clothes. Why are they in there? Oh, this is still not unpacked from our trip. Oh my gosh, I was wondering where that stuff was. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness, honey. I love you, but you need to unpack better.